My name is Bruno Cicli. I am an MD from France and then I started osteopathy after my medical school. I also did a license in psychology in France and um, I always knew I wanted to do something else because I did Aikido when I was 12 years old with a lot of hands-on and somehow Chinese medicine. So after medical school I did osteopathy, Chinese medicine, homeopathy and I think my, my love always was osteopathy. I moved in the United States in 1996. That's where I live right now. And I try, travel once or twice a year uh, in all the osteopathic schools in Europe to teach uh, different subjects. Mainly, I teach uh, lymph and the brain class. The so limb class was my first uh, little uh, uh, protege, my first little class, when we uh, worked with a very specific rhythm and um, depth and uh, quality and direction of the limb flow. It's very osteopathic and we can work with every organs, every viscera, the uterus, prostate, ovaries, the lungs, the pleura, the liver, adrenals all the way to the PR and the dura that have lymphatic vessels. And we use a very gentle stroke, very, very specific, uh, with a specific rhythm, discovered by science in 1979, um, to work with the lymphatic system. And also, we use it to diagnose osteopathic lesions, and we can treat them with a, a fulcrum we use on the fascia and the fluid at the same time. This is called lymphofascia release. We we'll apply that on, on viscera, fascia, or joints. Osteopathy is, uh, I think there's many meanings with different people. I mean, it is still had a meaning at the beginning of his life. Toward the end of his life, it changed a little bit. Uh, you know, with introducing a more medical, approach to it and obviously today it's much different and different between countries. In America it means something else. When every osteopath are physicians, licensed physicians, they can do surgery or just mix up Canada when you start to recognize you by the state. And, and, and so I think the uh, my definition of osteopathy, what I take from it is a way to touch the forces of life. The forces of life between your hands, you feel life under your hands. You help nature on its way, you, you, let, you let the expression of life um, express itself if you want. And uh, at a physical level, emotional level, energetic level, or spiritual level. It's multi-level looking for the key problem or the thing that could bring the most health and the most uh, balance in the body and lesion is, is also it's just for me health is something like it's a it's a constant balance we go out of health to learn something and they often learn something get an opportunity to grow an opportunity to grow and, and, and I can maybe accompany them to grow and come back to that place that uh, has dynamic balance or coming back into something that's perfect inside of them